Hi, I'm Jim Mintert, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture. Thanks for joining us for a review of the Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer survey results from December 2019. The Ag Economy Barometer dipped slightly in December to a reading of 150 compared to 153 in November. And as you look at what took place, the driver behind that was a decline in the index of current conditions. Farmers became more concerned about current economic conditions on their farms, but retained their optimism with respect to economic conditions both on their farms and in the ag economy as the index of future expectations actually rose slightly. The Farm Capital Investment Index was virtually unchanged at a reading of 72 versus 71 and leaves us significantly stronger than we were this time last year when the reading was about 51. Farmers in December were a little less optimistic about farmland price expectations than they were a month earlier. The percentage of farmers that expected farmland prices to decline over the next 12 months increased from 11% in November to 20% in December. And when we asked farmers to look ahead five years, the percentage of farmers expecting higher farmland values declined from 57% in November to 48% in December. That puts us in both cases, both one year ahead and five years ahead, back to levels very close to where we were this time last year. We asked producers in, in light of concerns about uh, financial stress on farms, whether or not they expect to see a change in the size of their operating loan for, in 2020 versus 2019. 21% of the farmers in our survey said they expect to have a larger operating loan this year than they did last year. We followed up with that group and asked them why they expected to have a larger operating loan, and 29% of them said that they expected to have a larger operating loan because they were carrying over unpaid operating debt from the prior year. If you work through the math on that, what that means is about 6% of the farms in our survey expect to carry over unpaid operating debt from 2019 into 2020, and that is a sign that those farms are suffering significant financial stress. We continue to ask farmers about their perspective with respect to the trade dispute with China. Uh, the percentage of producers that said that they think uh, the soybean trade dispute will be, with China will be settled soon, declined again in December to 34% from 38% in November. And of course, that's a dramatic decline compared to where we were last summer when it reached a peak of about 78 to 80%. We followed up and said, do you think the trade dispute with China will ultimately be resolved in a way that benefits U.S. agriculture? That percentage did decline from the prior month. In November, 80% expected a favorable outcome. 72% said they expected a favorable outcome in December. If you average those responses going back to the first time we asked that question in March, the average percentage responding yes to that question has been about 73%. That wraps up our discussion of this month's Ag Economy Barometer Survey. Our next Ag Economy Barometer Survey will be released on February 4th, 2020. And we do have a webinar coming up on January 16th focused on Farm Bill 2020 decision making. On behalf of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.